right, so got myself a small one going. And the latest amp has arrived. This was insanely well packaged, so this box was actually wrapped in like two or three layers of, uh, <coughs> of bubble wrap, and inside the amp was wrapped in bubble wrap. So, uh, yeah, let me just get this uh, unboxed, set up, and um, we'll see how it performs. Alright, and I am back. So, uh, just a quick, um, quick recap. We're talking about this amp over here. And so it's from Fantastic Seller. And I did go, so this is the most expensive one I have got up to now, right? So 26 euros, and up to now I had, the first one was 11, and the next one was, I believe, 30, but that was bought here in Germany, so, I don't know, anyway. <clears throat> so this one, 26, from China, so this would equate to, like, 50, if, had it been in stock in Germany. And this, so first of all, a quick, a quick side note, I did, did want the, the four-pot version, I did get the five pot version. I don't know. Uh, it's given how well this performs, I am probably not gonna bitch the seller at all. So, first of all, right? So some people mentioned on the previous video that, oh, ah, yeah, no, you're supposed to flick the switch after, before you turn it on, and all that crap. No, dude, it's a fucking amp. It's supposed to just work. So let's uh, let's see how this one performs. Twenty four volts in. It's on. No thump, no nothing. How hard is that? So, and you can actually see that it does have some kind of circuitry, so you will hear the... So I'm going to put the camera real close so you can see when the amp actually turns on. And you'll hear the click from the switch and then hear the, the amp actually come on, so keep your ears peeled. Alright, I hope you got that. And uh, yeah, so they're powering the chips um, properly. Uh, quiescent uh, current is still quite high for my for my liking, right? So 2.4 watts, but it's fine, right? It's the chokes are mildly warm, and it's been on for like four minutes, so it's it's fine. I don't know. I'm I'm not complaining. And sound wise, it's also right. Two TPA chips. It's it's a monster, right? So TPA three one one six, uh, these. So let's um, give you guys a quick listen. And so before that, actually, there's some kind of a botch here. They want to bridge the um, outer shells of all the pots. I don't know why. So this is main volume. This is treble frequency. So you set the crossover for the highs the volume for the amp that uh, does the highs um, this would be the volume for the amp that does the bass and the frequency of the bass and these are very nice and this switch is supposed to do something on the bottom it does say on the bottom it does say a bunch of a bunch of things all frequencies and normal and I I find normal to be exactly the same as all frequencies but yeah, and I believe it does have some, some little, um, little pads you can bridge. Actually, this one just has one. I believe previous versions used to have a bit more, but yeah, anyway. And, uh, yeah, so let's hear it out a bit. And, uh, yeah, this is very uneventful, so significantly less milk than the previous one. So let's, um... Yeah, this is just the speaker bouncing off the table. It's, sound is absolutely clear. Let's uh, actually turn off the, the highs. Actually, it doesn't turn them off completely. I don't know if this one does. Alright, so let's just have the bass channel. Turn it to... Let's uh, put this on a cloth. Have it not jump around that much. So... <clears throat> Alright, the little uh, little uh, air noise you're hearing is from the bottom of the speakers. It's from the bottom of the speaker. There's these vents for the... I forgot how this membrane is called. But yeah, so... 
And you can adjust, so let's, uh, it is quite late, right, and the coffee hasn't yet kicked in. So let's uh, see um, the crossover frequency, the cutoff frequency of the bass filter. So now it's full on, and it's exactly how I want it, kind of. So basically no voices, no nothing in the, in the subwoofer. Let's uh, switch to a section that has both bass and voice. Alright. Crap, I'm always maneuvering the, the wrong pot, so this would be the volume and this would be the frequency. Alright, so this would basically be bullshit, why the fuck would you want the voices coming out of your subwoofer, but for some applications it might uh, might be warranted. And yeah, so I just want the really low, low lows. And so let's play with the, the mids now. This would include a lot more mids. And this would cut off some of the mids, kind of. So that is pretty much all. I'm quite happy. So if you can find one of these that isn't like the knockoff of a knockoff of a knockoff, then I would recommend it. Um, do go for the higher priced one. So I got mine. So as I said, as I showed around 26 euros, you can get them for 19 ish. And I wouldn't risk it, right? Because it takes a long, long time. So this took like two months to get here. And you really don't want to risk it, right? Because if it's fucked up, then you're going to have to wait another two months. And I don't know. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, so the cap is definitely a fake Nichicon. But I don't know. You can always change those. And the smaller ones aren't that critical. Although they do look nice. And the board looks very nicely soldered. Very nice attention to detail. So it looks pretty good so and someone did take the effort to bridge all these pots for some some reason I who knows and yeah backside I did show you guys and yeah ah and in most listing they would used to blur out this Chinese text here I have no idea why if someone knows what that is and then yeah uh, also quick note uh, unlike most of the other ones the there's some nuts are they nuts? Uh, no, some washers. So there's some washers between the heatsink and the board so that they don't stress the chip or the board. And I believe I did see some heatsink compound over there. Let me look again. Yeah, there's heatsink compound as well. So very nice. I don't know. I have absolutely no complaints. My search is over. Although I do have another one on the way. So. That'll be coming. That's a Yuan Jin model. So let's see how that one performs. Uh, but already I can move forward with my uh, iPod Hi Fi restoration. Alright, so have a good one, guys. And yeah, stay tuned for the next one.